Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome to another sim trading video here. So in this video, I want to go through Tesla. Now, Tesla, the reason I want to, uh, I can never get good trades in Tesla is because it sort of defies technical analysis here. So I'm going to give it a try. I'm going to give, uh, you know, one more chance to Tesla and myself whether I can trade Tesla or not. So let's start with uh, a, a point in time where Tesla has not moved up and down yet. So I am going to start at uh, $244 at about uh 9th june 2023 and i think i'm going to trade one hour chart i'm going to give it a go there so right let's start right now so i, I obviously have not remembered the uh chart um I, I don't have the ability to do that so uh let's start it right now so as of now it looks like the rsi is overbought so i am trying to look for it to curl down here and i think what we're gonna find is that um tesla rarely ever you know curls down significantly um, unless something really bad happens and then it seems to you know shoot up extremely fast and that you know when news is at play it, i find it very hard to sort of um i guess get some sort of timing on it not that you should you know time stuff but uh you know when i was trading this stock it was extremely hard and i will always sell at the wrong time right so uh yeah i'm still waiting for an entry point right now um it looks like the stock just keeps going up right and at some point you know i i i don't know you know at some point i in real life i would just already given up and i would have moved on right so okay i found some sort of entry here it went below that bollinger band and uh our side doesn't necessarily look good so, uh, so it is coming down once again so i got it another time um macd looks like it's decaying and okay it looks like going a little bit late there but that still works uh okay so okay it looks like it's coming down once again it's below that midpoint in the uh bollinger band as you can see um it is very very volatile here and uh you know that, that's a reason why i i can never time it properly because tesla is a one-of-a-kind stock that's not a stock uh it's very rare that you find a stock that is this volatile that reacts to both the news to algo um you know that there, there is machine learning algorithms trading tesla stock if you actually look at the options it, it, it keeps going up and down and that is very very um, abnormal here so there's a lot of things working for and against tesla you know if you can't trade it uh, it might not necessarily be because of your abilities it could just be that there are so many factors working against you it's impossible right i mean at some point uh you know yeah as long as you are trying to uh trade it you will lose um and i i think i'm gonna try to prove it here now obviously this is very different from real life trading um that there, there's no news here there is no uh, uh you know time uh, atrophy for you um you know whenever there is a long period of time you sort of lose uh track of where you are tr you know trying to to buy or sell sometimes you get uh you know the, the feeling that you want to invest instead of a trading uh instead of trade or you want to trade instead of invest and and that sort of screws you over and that is caused by time and and psychology and that is why i can just never time tesla and i, I think i'm going to be very honest with it i am not trying to time tesla anymore i have set up basically a a, a regular savings plan with tesla and I'm just trying to buy like ten dollars a week, and, and I know it doesn't sound like a lot, but uh, you know, hopefully, you know, over time it it does appreciate, and and we'll see if it, you know, if somehow Tesla does go down, then I am not at too much of a risk, so that way I I don't um uh, get freaked out by the volatility. So over here, it looks like the stock is at the top of the Bollinger Bollinger band here. So I'm gonna sell a couple of shares here now i know this is going to be a mistake because you know the way tesla moves it's very very erratic here and just by selling my shares i will give up a lot of opportunity here and as you can see tesla just keeps going up right so uh right now macd is um looks like we are cutting up here um let's see let's bring out the volume here okay look at that that is okay i meant to sell there so i sold three positions there and let's look at the RSI right now. RSI is oversold. Sorry, overbought. Uh, MACD looks like it's cutting down. And the stock 
price doesn't necessarily look like it's going to curl down too much here. Let's bring out the MAs. Uh, nothing can gather from the MAs there. Okay. Let's see her RSI 55. Okay, we are curling down again. So we are below that Bollinger Band. And I should have bought that, but I'm going to wait a little bit longer for the RSI to curl down a little bit more here. Okay, pre market. Let's see here. I'm going to buy there. And this is extremely volatile. MACD is in the green once again. And the stock curl down. Guys, this is why you, you should never trade Tesla. This is extremely volatile. Um, you know, and, and then you just add in Elon Musk to the equation, and he's just an, an impossible man to, to sort of uh, uh, predict, right? He's uh, unpredictable. And, you know, he, he does have the ability to affect the stock as well. Whether, whether he affects it in a good way or a bad way, nobody knows. And, you know... It, 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 I, I, I don't know. I, um, it's, it's just, it, it boggles my mind all the time that, that Tesla sort of exists uh, and Elon Musk is at the helm of it, right? Let's see here. Uh, bu, 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 bu. RSI looks like it's at, at its midpoint right now. It looks like I have, you know, $61 in gains here. Um, and let's see here. I'm not going to sell. Let's see if there's a mistake here. Okay, I'm going to sell now because uh, I, I saw the price above that Bollinger Band. Um, so whenever that happens, I, I, I'll, I'll try to sell here. So that's what I'm trying to work on here. Okay, it's above that Bollinger Band again. Above again, above again. And looks like it's coming down. Let's see here. And as you can see, every time I sell, the stock does tend to head up, right? So once again, it, it sort of defies technical analysis. And, and that is why I struggle with the stock. And you know, that's why I stopped trading it for a very long time this year. Um, and right now I do have a regular savings plan with Tesla which is not a lot once again. Okay, I'm gonna, I sold all my positions here. So I have no more positions and let's see if um, Tesla continues to go up. So it doesn't look like it. Uh, let's see, should I buy it right here? Okay, okay, that is very, very volatile there. And anyone will have gotten shaken out there. I, I'm gonna be honest, even I will have been shaken out there. So it looks like we are finding some sort of bottom here. MACD, okay. You see that MACD immediately jumped to the green here and we see a, a, a just a massive spike, right? Where did that volume even come from? And, and that just, 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 that just boggles my mind. And uh, yeah, it, it sometimes flabbergasts me, I, I, I guess. So let's continue here. Um, okay, so I'm looking for another entry here. Let's see if the MACD does curl down. Okay, RSI right now looks to be oversold. Um, I'm gonna buy a couple of positions here. Uh, MACD is in the green, but stock price is not moving up. That is not a good sign here, but as you all know, Tesla defies technical analysis here. Well, I guess it does defy my uh, uh, subjective opinion of technical analysis, but you know, maybe someone who's uh, more seasoned in a, a, a t trading Tesla knows a little bit more here. So. Right now, RSI is at the midpoint. Uh, looks like it's coming down. MACD is in the red. We are not seeing a huge sell off here. So, once I see that MACD sort of turn pinkish, I, I, I initiate a few buy positions here. So, we saw a huge spike here. And let's see if it can go up here. Okay, above the Bollinger Band, sell. Looks like it is dropping once again, so I'm buying. Okay, so we saw a green candle here. Let's see if we can uh, reverse there. So we see we saw a reversal there. So yeah, um, once again, technical analysis does sort of work, right? Obviously, this is you know 
extremely uh fast uh so this is every hour here and it's very easy to trade like this i i would not get this type of performance if i was trading in real life but you know it, it's very interesting when you actually try to do this and i i do feel like i got you know trading um like at this rate but i i know this is not going to happen in real life right Okay, green candle there, and it looks like that um, reversal did fail. Okay, so we are seeing it drop below that pulling event, so I bought a, a few positions here. MACD is about to curl up here. Uh, looks like, uh, let's see, RSI is still down, so I'm going to buy a couple more positions. Uh, let's see, yeah, let me get the volume out of the way. Okay, so I have twelve positions right now. Stock price is moving a little bit flat here. I'm not gonna lie. RSI looks like it is just about to hit that overbought. Um, I saw I should have sold there. So right now it is curling towards that red MACD again. So I'm gonna sell a, a couple of positions there, and that ended up being a, a right move. So once again, below that bullinger line, I'm gonna buy it. Spike up here. MACD um, looks like it's pinkish again, so that failed. So I'm going to buy a couple more positions here because they did have a massive drop. Uh, okay, it's going to go... Well, it's going to do something. Um, let's see here. Okay. RSI looks like it is pretty volatile. Um, okay, so a, a huge drop in the price there. Buying a couple more positions. Now, obviously, you wouldn't buy this many positions. I, I do have infinite money, right? So, um, you know, it's very easy to do that. When you're actually playing with real-life money, it's not so easy to just randomly, carelessly buy positions like that. But once again, this is simulation. Um so what you need is you just need one uh you know time one good position and then you sell it at a good time or something like that but chances are um it's going to be extremely hard to do that and you know uh based on the news you're probably gonna get shaken out some some somewhere right something bad is gonna come out biden's gonna say something and <laughs> Jerome Powell's gonna say something and the market's gonna crash and that is why um you know trading is an extremely uh, hard thing to do and that's why people try to get uh bots to trade because um, they don't have emotions they are basically trading like me right so at this point uh looks like the stock is curling down i'm just gonna buy a couple more positions um and it looks like it's still going cutting down uh, uh, significantly. So right now I'm looking at the RSI. It is over so again. So let's see if we can curl up here. I'm going to buy a couple more positions. Uh, let's see. And right now we are in a bearish zone again. So we saw that pink MACD here, and it looks like we had a small buy up. So we are okay. We are back to even there. Let's see. Okay, at this point, I am down 700 USD, which is a lot more than I have uh, made in profits here. So that would have been a bad time. That would have been a bad time if I was trading Tesla. Let's see. Okay, when is this? This is August. So I, I still have time um, until today. I still have a lot of time. So I'm going to wait out my positions. Now, I know you, you don't do this in real life, but, you know, uh, this is why you can turn your trades into investments, right? So another example for that. Okay, so right now it looks like we are crossing above that Bollinger Band. And as you can see, we were overbought here. So I sold a lot of positions there. And right now we are finding some sort of support. So I am buying it. So you can see that lower that lowers the um, cost basis. And uh, let's see, it looks like it is going down again. Let's see, market open stock went up macd is uh it's still down i mean it's still up but okay 
buying it because it hit the uh, bottom of the Bollinger Band. Let's see, RSI is looking like it is oversold there, so we'll see. Okay, MACD is coming up here, so I'm going to buy a couple of positions. And as you can see, Tesla is moving up once again. So selling it because of Bollinger Band. And we are just about to cross here. Uh, and okay, I sold a couple of positions, so I did time it okay there. Let's see here. At this point, you know, I went from seven hundred dollar USD loss to negative um, seventy. So that goes to show how volatile Tesla is. Okay, selling it. You can see that RSI is overbought here, so that is why I sold so many positions there. So once again, it looks like it is culling down. Let's look at the MACD here. Okay, it looks like we are getting strangled here. So the Bollinger Band is constricting. And when that happens, there seems to be a lot more volatility here. So that you could either be a, a sell or it could be a buy in the next few candles here. Okay, market open. Our side looks to be above that midpoint there. So I'm going to wait before I see a entry. Um, okay, so one thing I noticed that the stock price is moving flat while the MACD is moving down. So at this point, it actually looks like we do have some sort of bullish momentum here. So I'm going to buy a couple of positions. I'm going to buy five positions. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six positions. And let's see what happens here. Okay, that did not work out. That did not work out. So once again, it defied technicals. Um, yeah, I, I, I think I'm starting to see why I, I avoided this stock for so long over the last year here. Okay, MACD once again, um, we are getting a, a third try here. Um, looks like we are just above that Bollinger. Um, looks like it is about to curl down here. Look at the RSI. Okay, very, very volatile. Let's see, it's below that Bollinger band once again. I bought three positions there. And at some point, um, I'm going to have to sell all these positions. Uh, so we are getting very, very close here. Okay. Buying. Okay, I'm going to time an exit here. Okay, I'm going to exit here, totally exit here. Let's see how we do, right? So we have a profit of 440 USD. And, uh, oh, I, I did time that exit properly. Um, that is very interesting. And I'm, I'm done. I'm done for Tesla. So I'm not trading anymore in this episode. So, okay. That I, I I missed out there, right? So I I think that goes to show why you should never trade Tesla. I'm not gonna time it properly. I I I just I can't time it properly, right? So I'm just gonna let this thing run. But you know, it just goes to show why I can never time Tesla. Um, you know, it 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 moves extremely erratically, and at some point. I, I just I would have just given up, right? So let's see. My success rate here is seventy three point four seven percent. That's not bad. Um, that's still above sixty percent profits in cash four hundred and forty, and my most profitable trade I made a hundred dollars. So that is well, that was very fun. Um, and hopefully you guys I guess enjoyed the video. I'm not sure when I'll post this, but uh, yeah. So. This is why you should never trade Tesla stock. And um, yeah, have a nice one out there. Uh, stay safe on the markets. This is simulation trading. And like and subscribe.